channel welcome back to my channel today's video is gonna have a little bit of everything in it uh, also before I start I just want to say that I am recovering from a cold I'm pretty much better but I still have a little bit of the cough and the dry throat so bear with me this video I'm gonna try to keep it short I'm gonna try don't know if that's gonna happen I have a little bit of a book haul for you and kind of a currently reading kind of uh, and then I also have a few whips that I'm gonna show because it's been a while since I filmed and shown any whips I don't think I have any finishes um, it's, again it's been a while since I filmed so if I do have finishes that I haven't shown they are on my Instagram at stitcher mink link will be in the description so check out that whole situation. Uh, I do have some whips and I do have book haul and cross stitch haul so this is kind of going to be a little bit of everything. So before I get into all of that I just want to say a special thank you to each and every one who has watched any amount of my videos even if you've just watched a few seconds of one video. I really do appreciate it. Sunday, November 17th. It is currently Tuesday. Uh, I was gonna have a video out on Sunday and then I've been sick and just haven't felt like filming so that just didn't happen. But Sunday, November 17th was my five year anniversary on YouTube, which is insane. I honestly didn't expect to keep doing YouTube videos this long. Um, I, I was shocked when I hit 50 subscribers and then we hit 100 subscribers and then I took the channel over by myself and it's just been a whirlwind of the past five years and I have enjoyed most of it. I won't say all of it because there has been some unnecessary drama in like the Twitter aspect of all of this but as far as like filming goes I pretty much have enjoyed almost all of it. Uh, there have been some gaps in my videos and filming and a lot of that just has to do with life situations and not feeling like filming and then there was a few months there where my editing software was being stupid so I couldn't edit anything and it's just life happens. So I don't film or post as much as I used to just because life gets in the way and work and everything but I'm still filming videos and I still enjoy filming videos and I am so grateful that I have discovered the cross stitch community and started cross stitching because that has made me want to film videos again and here I am filming videos. So I've mentioned in my last video that I'm going to try to separate the book and the cross stitch vids. Um, yeah, it's probably not going to happen. Uh, it might eventually for like reviews I'll probably just do a book review maybe I'm really bad at doing review videos I'm gonna try to start doing them more though uh, so how I'm going to structure these going forward is I'm going to do the book portions in the beginning and then the cross stitch portions at the end so if you don't care about one or the other you don't have to watch the whole video because I'll be mixing them in it'll be very strictly books and then cross stitch I'll try to maybe put a timestamp in the description on where the cross stitch happens so you don't have to like go through it we'll see if I remember to do that or not I will try it, it might not happen but beginning of the videos books end of the videos cross stitch for now. Uh, that being said, I'm probably also not going to uh, label these videos, the titles with floss tube number whatever. Um, I don't, I, I lose track. Numbers. So just know that book tube and floss tube, uh, if there's no stitchy or books in the video, like if it's one of my Disney videos, it will be labeled such in the description and try to label it in the the title. So without further ado, because uh, it's somehow already been five minutes, let's get into the books. I am currently reading Call Down the Hawk by Maggie Stiefvater, which I do have that book as haul, and I have a table in front of me, so if you see me bending down, that's why. Um, so my first haul is Call Down the Hawk by Maggie Stiefvater. Yes, I have two copies. This is the Owl Crate Special Edition. Uh, they announced that they were gonna do a Call Down the Hawk box and I needed it because Raven Boys and Ronin, my boy Ronin, oh, I love it so much. Um, 
These have been out for like three weeks now, or this has been out, it's one book. Uh, if you follow me on my bookstagram, which stitchy people probably don't, um, it is at Bookish Gina, which is the same as my Twitter handle, then you've seen these pictures, but both of them are signed. So this is the Alcrate exclusive signed one, and I really love the blue cover. So I'm glad that I have the Alcrate edition, because not only is it a really pretty blue cover, but the inside of the dust jacket also has really pretty artwork that Maggie did herself. So that is really, really pretty. And like I said, I'm currently reading this. Um, I am reading the audio version because Will Patton is amazing and I love him. I might switch to the physical version soon. Uh, I don't know, I'm just, I'm loving it, but I'm also trying to savor it and not get too ahead of myself. So the normal book, um, jumping around, I have a bookmark with the cover on it as well. Come on, focus. Really, you're still focusing on the shelves. Okay, there it goes. So I have a bookmark as well. And then since I ordered it from Fountain Bookstores, uh, I also got this really awesome book plate, which I will save because I also was one of the thousand people that got a doodle called on the hawk which the doodle is the sword and it's so cool um it is drawn so well that i thought it was part of the title page and was real upset that i didn't get my doodled copy even though i knew that i was one of the first thousand to order the doodled copy uh i had to go onto maggie's instagram page and like scroll through to see because i knew she posted what the doodle was so i had to scroll through and see what the doodle was and i was like oh I missed the doodle because I thought it was part of the book. So I'm very excited about that doodle. The book so far is amazing. Um, I'm probably a little less than halfway through. I don't want it to end. I'm really afraid of what's gonna happen to Ronan. Everyone has been saying that it leaves on a really big cliffhanger, but I'm loving it. I'm, I'm really loving it. The other book that I am currently reading is called Tweet Cute. I believe it's by Emma Mills. Um, I have a e-galley of it off of NetGalley, so it is on my Kindle, and it is adorable. I'm about 50% into that one as well. Uh, e-books I like to take to work and read on breaks just because it's easier to read on an e-reader while like lunch or the 15 minute breaks or whatever. I feel like I'm reading more with e-books because I have the font so big that I'm going through the pages faster it seems. So that I am reading at work. It seems like it's going to be a um, You've Got Mail trope, which I love. So far, that hasn't happened yet, but essentially it is two main characters and it is told in both their POVs. We have Jack and Pepper, and they both run the Twitter accounts for their respective families restaurant businesses. Um, Pepper's family business is starting to franchise and getting big, whereas Jack's is still a little hole in the wall family restaurant that is apparently pretty popular like with the locals and everything. Uh, and then the big league restaurant releases a grilled cheese called Grandma Special and the ingredients are very eerily similar to the small restaurants grilled grandma's grilled cheese which is also called the grandma special so there starts being a twitter feud and that's kind of what happens uh i'm really loving it so far and there's a character named gina um the only thing we know about gina is that uh they see her making out with a person and it's like i want more of gina i want to be a character uh so that's kind of fun that seeing my name in books is always really fun. Um, wow, this is gonna be longer than I anticipated. Uh, the next book that I wanna show, that's all I have for my currently reading. I guess this next book I'm kind of currently reading. I picked it up in October, was really enjoying it. I am really enjoying it, but then put it down because that's what I do. Um, Imaginary Friend by Stephen Chbosky. Oh, I'm loving this. I'm not very far in, but within six pages, I was already spooked. Um, this is one of my most anticipated reads of the year. 
and I'm loving every minute of it. Um, it is a book of the month uh, book, which it wasn't like one of the option, like monthly options, but they let me get it anyway. I did re-sign up for book of the month for like all of two months. Yeah. But yeah, so imaginary friend. Um, honestly couldn't tell you much about it other than it involves this kid and they move and there's creepy things that happen and that's all that's happened so far in the book. I didn't read any descriptions on this. I just know how much I loved Perks of Being, excuse me, Perks of Being a Wallflower and I knew I had to have this. Uh, that's just the dust jacket because like I said I'm reading it. Another book that I got which is also very exciting, I pre-ordered this forever ago and it is the illustrated version of Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. I am so excited. Like look at this, look at this map. So good. I love, I love the map. Um, it's also the 25th anniversary? I thought it was about 30 years. I'm not sure, but maps on this side as well. And then there's like, not as many illustrations in it as I was anticipating, um, but like each chapter has this really pretty gold around the start of the chapter. And then there are pictures, because it is illustrated, but again, there's not as many as I anticipated or hoped. Um, very exciting though, once I finally finish reading the series, which I, I don't know why I haven't. Yeah, I do. We've been talking at work and I haven't been able to listen to the audiobooks. But once I finish that, uh, the last two books in the Ship of Magic section of this series, I will finish up the last trilogy and then I would like to like reread it with the illustrated, which would be pretty awesome. No, Call Down the Hawk just fell. Um, the next book that I have is Rainbow Rowell's Wayward Son. I have already read this. I enjoyed it a whole lot more than Carry On. Uh, the magic still drives me crazy. I also really like the naked hardback of this. Um, the, the magic setup still drives me crazy, but it's not as annoying in this book as it was in Carry On. The main issue I have with this book is that Simon's wings are blue on the cover. His wings aren't blue, they're red. So why are his wings blue on the cover? Drives me crazy, but I'll live with it. The next book I want to show you is this one. A Fiona Christmas! A very Fiona Christmas! I love Fiona. Uh, I've talked about Fiona before. I have a couple other Fiona books around here somewhere, but I read this immediately as soon as I got it. It is adorable. It's all about Fiona uh, going around and asking all the other animals what Christmas is. And just look how cute that is. The illustrations are adorable. It is illustrated by Richard Cowdery. Oh, it's just, I love it. I love Fiona so much. Uh, three more books and then we'll get into stitchy stuff because this video is taking longer than I anticipated. The next book I have is another book of the month book. Um, I have two more book of the month books. Okay, I lied. There's more than three books. So the other book of the month books that I have when I re-signed up, um, I re-signed up mostly so I could get well met for cheap, uh, essentially. This was a add-on because uh, I signed up a little too late or re-signed up a little too late to get this as the actual month book, but I read the arc of this and I knew I had to have a physical copy, so Book of the Month came through. Uh, I do have a review for Well Met if you're interested. I will link it in the description below if I remember. Um, but the other one I got is Bringing Down the Duke by Evie Dunmore. Don't remember what this is about, but it sounded the most interesting. And I'm pretty sure it's a romance. Um, also Well Met is by Jen DeLuca. Loved this book. Fantastic. Amazing. Love it. So the last book of the month book that I have is Get a Life, Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. Um, 
This sounded really interesting. I actually requested it on NetGalley and got denied. So when I saw that it was there on Book of the Month, I honestly forgot that I had gotten denied for this, but like it sounded familiar. Uh, I don't remember exactly what, like I read descriptions and I forget about it because I like going in blind to things. Oh yeah, so Chloe Brown has some kind of like health issues. So she like really wants to live life to her fullest. And just, yeah, I don't know, it's romance. Uh, oddly have been getting into romance a lot more as I get older. Never thought that would happen, but here we are. So the last two books that I have to show you, one is actually a script and it is the Dear Evan Hansen script. It is the whole script, songs, words, everything. I got it when we saw Dear Evan Hansen. I loved it, I loved the musical. I had a feeling I would because I love the music of the musical and it's just so great. And this book, which I've been waiting for for months, I pre-ordered it so long ago, uh, I kind of forgot that I had pre-ordered it and then I saw the author on Instagram post about it and I was like, Oh yeah, I, I bought that book. And it is from Rufio to Zuko by Dante Bosco. I got the Rufio edition, which Rufio, Rufio from Hook. Hook is one of my favorite movies. It was one of my favorites as a kid. I still love it. And ordering it from this website, you got it signed and you got, so there are two editions. There's the Zuko edition, which has Zuko from the last airbender's face on the other side so theoretically you could get both and put them together um i probably won't i have started watching avatar the last airbender and i'm really enjoying it so i'll probably once i read this which is really really short i didn't anticipate it being this short uh i actually got this today and it's so tiny i saw it in the mailbox and went is that really my book like it's it's not even 200 pages it's like 118 pages so basically a short story memoir of his life but I love it I love I love it and I love the signature I showed you all the signature right I'm not sure what it says underneath Gina uh I'm assuming it says bangarang which is what they yell at each other and hook but I love it <coughs> excuse me so now for the stitchy stuff I'm gonna show you whips first and then I'll show you haul. Uh, 17 minutes in, wow, cool. Uh, stitchy stuff, the first whip that I want to show you I haven't worked on in about a month just cause I started working on Christmas things and I knew I wouldn't get this done before Halloween which kinda sucks but I will get it done before next Halloween and that is my pumpkin that I got from Galleria. Look at it, I love it. It is turning out so amazingly cute. I love it. I'm a little over halfway done, so I just have from here to here to go, like, I don't know. I might, okay, I don't think I'm even halfway done. Yeah, I'm probably about halfway done with it. It's taking forever just because it's a little harder to stitch in the pumpkin. Uh, it keeps hurting my fingers, and I have these, like, like finger grippy things that helps me like pull the needle through um which is very helpful but like I said I put this down to start working on Christmas gifts and that is where I'm at with that the next whip is another Halloween whip that I didn't finish I don't know why I haven't finished this it's really easy um it is this cute hat from can you see it uh it is a pattern from the Just Cross Stitch Halloween magazine. Uh, it called for a red hat, but since I wanted to stitch it on this purple that I got from Galleria, I made it green instead. And I really like how the green is showing up on this purple. I have all of the light green done. I just need to do the black, the dark green, which the black goes like here, and then the dark green around it, and then the flower, and I'd be done. It's stitching up quick. I just started freaking out about Christmas and kind of stopped. Um, the next whip is a whip that I've talked about before but never shown just in case the person that it is for watches these videos. Um, I'm just, uh, Sam, if you're watching this, this is your Christmas present, please stop. Uh, yeah, so 
this is this is a present for my friend Sam. Um, she is on booktube. She actually just made a video for the first time in seven months, which is very exciting. This was supposed to be her birthday present, but I really hate working on this canvas. I hate it so much. I'm never going to buy the pre-mounted square canvas again because it sucks. It's why it's taking me so long to stitch it, but it is Penny from Stardy Valley and I'm almost done with her. Uh, I'm hoping to have this done by December 1st, which I only have her hair left to do. So there's a few more like lines of this darker red like outlining to do and then I just have to fill it in with the orange. So it should work up pretty quickly from here on out. Uh, there's also a little black that I have to do around her eyes, but very exciting to almost have her done. I love how she looks. She looks amazing, but I hate stitching on this pre-mounted fabric. I'm never buying this again, ever. I hate it so much. So the last whip that I have is I am doing um, the uh, Tiny Modernist just came out with a new Christmas calendar and it is adorable. I should probably take the pattern off of this one, but I am working on day five currently. Um, I don't know if that helps at all. So I'm working on day five currently, which is a house. My plan was to get all of these done or at least most of them done by December 1st so I could start taking them in to work and putting them on my locker. So I'm doing them on plastic canvas uh, and I'm gonna put magnets on them so I can put them on my locker. At this point, since we're already almost to Thanksgiving uh, and I still have Christmas stuff to finish stitching, I'm hoping to at least get 12 of them done so that way I could be like, yeah, it's the 12 days of Christmas, even though there's supposed to be 25 of them. So. I'll have them done by next year. Uh, I'm loving it. I like stitching on this canvas. So I have the first four completed. There's an angel. Uh, I have been editing, or not editing, but like switching out some of the colors. Like I wanted the angel to have brown hair and I forgot to, I didn't put like the darker blue on her dress, which I should have. And I've been finishing them with this cute snowflake fabric. And then I'll put magnets on the back of this to then hang up magnetically. So that was day one. Uh, day two so far is my favorite. I love this tree. It is just so cute. You can't really see the two too well with the fabric behind it, but I still like it. And then day three is this cute little gingerbread man. <clears throat> Excuse me. Again, I kind of took some stuff out and like took liberty and didn't do some things just to make it a little simpler on myself to stitch it up fast. Like he's supposed to have some like darker brown right here or so. Uh, yeah, I just didn't do that. And I didn't do the back stitching either because he's supposed to have a back stitched smile. I didn't feel like messing with it. Um, and then day four is the last one I have finished. This is the one that worked up the quickest so far, which I'm surprised the gingerbread man didn't. But I love this little drum. It's so cute and it's just really fun uh, not really looking at what colors the stuff is supposed to be but like like looking to see what it's supposed to be but I'm not going out and buying new floss because I have plenty of floss so I've just been going through my floss stash and figuring out what colors that I like. The next thing that I have to show you is uh, I bought some of these like cheapy bags for project bags. Um, this is a full kit for the frosted pumpkin. I guess I'm in the haul portion now of my stitchy stuff. This is the frosted pumpkin nutcracker stitch along or the nutcracker parade. I haven't started stitching on it yet because I need to get Christmas presents finished, but I also want to show off my deck the Hallmark sticker because that podcast is fantastic. If you like Hallmark movies, listen to it. It is great. But I did get the full kit uh, every single time. I did get the full kit, uh, which does come with the threads, some needles, the fabric. I did get the Ada fabric because I like stitching on Ada. Um, and I also bought the needle minder, which was adorable to go with it. Uh, all right, there we go. Isn't that adorable? I love it. Uh, so yeah, that is the Frosted Pumpkin Nutcracker Parade stitch along. Very exciting. Oh, hello. One second. 
Um, I also bought a couple other frosted pumpkin things. They're all PDFs though. I don't have pictures of them, but I got, they have these cute little candy corn in little Halloween costumes. I think they have like four different patterns of them out now. I bought two of them. They're just so cute. I can't wait to stitch them up. I'm also going to make those into magnets, real into magnets. Uh, so the rest of my haul, I got most of this from 123stitch. Dot com and then one of them is a giveaway that I won which is very exciting and I'm so excited that I won it exciting and excited cool the first thing that I got is something that's going to take me forever and a day to stitch uh, I'm planning on kitting it up either in December or shortly after the new year starts when I started stitching one of the main things that I wanted to stitch was a stocking and for like the past year, I've been searching for a stocking that I really liked that didn't seem too difficult. And there's one that I really, really like by Dimensions, but all of the reviews on it say that it's harder than it looks and that there's a lot of uh, specialty stitches in it. I think a lot of people were saying that it was a lot of half stitches, which would be fine, but since I'm still fairly new, I don't want to start with something that complex. So I found something similar and I don't know exactly how it's gonna go. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm excited to stitch on it though. It is from Cooler Design Studio and it is the Up, Up and Away Christmas stocking designed by Nancy Rossi. I'm very excited to have a stocking pattern. Um, I, oh man. Like I said, I don't know when I'm gonna kit it up, but hopefully I'm going to start on this at the beginning of the year. My goal is to have it done by Christmas next year. We'll see if that happens. Uh, I think what I'm going to do, I believe it is full coverage. So like, the, I believe the blue is also stitched. Uh, I'm just going to stitch it on blue fabric. And then I probably, I don't know if I'll stitch the red on top or if I'll just like outline it and put my name there, but I'm gonna go ahead and like dye my own fabric and dye it a nice navy color. That way I at least don't have to do that portion of it. That would be nice. Um, just kind of kind of cheated a little, but I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to doing it. And it's, it's intimidating, but I'm excited. Um, the next two things I got from 123stitch, which I recently got, are so adorable and I love them. Um, they're both from Shepherd's Bush Printworks and I got Be Merry, which is this guy. Isn't he cute with the little Santa and the lights and the holly and ugh, and the stockings. Um, they didn't come with the buttons that are on here. So I'm gonna have to get buttons, which is fine. I can get buttons. And also snow, which is also really pretty. I love them so much. They're so pretty. I can't wait to stitch them. Won't be this Christmas, but I'm gonna be stitching Christmas all year round. I love Christmas. And the last thing that I have to show you is very exciting. Um, Inspired Needle, who put on Needlework Galleria, is awesome. Uh, and they do giveaways in their videos and I entered this giveaway and then immediately went to 123stitch and put this pattern on my wish list because I didn't think in a million years that I would win the giveaway and then I won the giveaway and it was a giveaway for JBW Designs French Country Witch which isn't she adorable? There's a bunch of like little Halloween motifs that make her up and like you can turn her into a little pillow or a little ornament I'm very excited. Um, I won't be stitching her on this color fabric though. I actually have this really pretty green fabric that I got from Galleria, if you guys remember, if you watched that video. And I'm gonna stitch her on that because I think she'll look really good on that green fabric, which I'm very excited about. So, yes, this is the end of this video. Uh, again, thank you so much everyone for staying with me or thank you to people that are new which is all the stitchy people because I've just started making stitchy videos. It's been a very good five years on YouTube. I love all of you. My friends that I've made through this both communities are fantastic and amazing and yeah 
I'm excited to see where the future goes and how many more stitchy videos and everything. So yes, end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you did subscribe. I'm excited to see what's to come. I promise I will try to record more videos. Uh, my friends Stacy and Jean, who I met at Galleria, who are awesome, uh, keep pestering me about when I'm gonna make more videos. So, you know, if they keep pestering me, I'll start making videos more often, probably. I put the probably in there, cuz we'll see. But this video is long enough as it is. Again, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, also be sure to follow me on like Instagram, uh, Twitter as well, but I'm not very active on Twitter anymore, just because there's a lot of unnecessary drama on Twitter. I am active on both my Instagram pages, at bookishgina and at to Stitcher Mink. Um, obviously, bookishgina is more about books and my everyday, like, life and things and then my stitchy instagram is mostly just stitching i do post a few like i posted costumes and like makeup stuff that i did halloween on there just because i wanted to share it with more people but it is mostly stitching so if you don't want just stitching go ahead and follow me on book is gina as well and vice versa so again thank you so much for watching this i hope you guys are having a fantastic day and i will see you guys next time bye